I'm here in New York at Inked. Um, I started a Chris Brown portrait. I'm a front pocket wallet carrier. So having a small wallet that I can still keep a lot of credit cards in is gonna be key for me. And that's the problem with a lot of wallets, right? Is just having to sort through and trying to figure it out. With this, you know where your cards are and you fan it out and you can pull out whatever you need. I've had my wallet for two years and certainly have no intentions on even replacing it with a new one. It was cool, man. It was something different. Um, she wanted to pay homage to Chris Brown. It's somebody that she loves, you know. Um, it was kind of a hiccup, straight up and down on image design. She wanted this image, I wanted this one. She wanted it small, I thought it was in color. She wanted it in black and gray. It was just a hiccup. That's part of the, it's part of the business. I'm not trying to have people go, yo, that Chris Brown tattoo is fire. I'm trying to have people go, yo, that Chris tattoo, whole tattoo, he killed it. You know what I'm saying? Like he. He, it explains who Chris Brown is, you know what I'm saying? And that's where we was having a hiccup at. Like, she just, I just, I just want this. He's, he's cute. Like, I'm not trying to do cute, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to do, you walking down the street and people be like, oh my God, like that's a Chris Brown tattoo, you know? Here's my thing, here's my thing. I'm not in this to be a tattoo and keep it going. I'm in this to become a legend, you know what I'm saying? So my thing is that if you get a tattoo from me on the outside of your calf, I want people to go, holy shit. And then I want other artists who are gonna do a piece on that same leg to go, yo, I can't half ass it, that's Pooch. He murdered that side. To me, if something is like, it's full of life or bringing happiness or joy, I like to do it in color. If something is like sadness or like, and vintage photo or like an old like old musician who passed away. You, know, you kind of want to do that in black and gray. As an artist, you just know. Like there's certain images I'll do in color. There's certain images I have to do in black and gray. Like Elvis, I would do in black and gray. That's just me. I wouldn't do it in color. You know what I'm saying? Or Jimi Hendrix, I would do in color. You know as an artist, you just be like, okay, well, this needs to be in black and gray. It should not be in color. And then, no, this needs to be in color. It's just, as an artist, you know. You, you automatically know. Yo, Chris, I love you if you're watching this, man, but <laughs> that was hard. Cause it's hard to tattoo a bad tattoo of a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like a lot of you want to be like, I can straighten out this line. Nope, can't. His eyes supposed to be crooked. I right, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just, it's, it's hard. You like, yo, Darkwing Duck is not supposed to have a crooked beak and you just, I can't fix it. Like it needs to be fed up. Like, like you know, so it's, it's, it's hard. It, it, it's simple, but it's hard. It's like everything in you want to straighten it out, but you can't. I love black and gray. What a lot of people don't understand, I started off doing black and gray. Um, I had two mentors, you know, who, who, who helped me in black and gray. That's Carl Grace. And then the other one is Bob Tyrell. You know what I'm saying? Like over the years, they like, yo, Pooch, try this. So like I mentored under them. Like why well, didn't, I, I really did have an understudy. It's like, I saw them in conventions. I traveled so much. So since they seen me so much and I would sit there and watch them for hours, especially Bob, you know, he's slow. I would sit there for hours and Bob would take his time and be like, yo, Pooch, try this. You know what I'm saying? Try this out, try that out. Um, um, and then Carl Grace would be like, yo, just come hang out with me. Stop here, let's go here together. You know what I'm saying, dog? Let's just go do this, do this. So I started off in black and gray, but it just so happened I got into color and I loved it, you know what I'm saying? And it took off, but I've always loved black and gray. It's just that now people are starting to be like, hey, yo, Pooch, I gotta get a piece done by you, you know? Everybody think the black and gray is easy. To me, I think it's harder. You know what I'm saying? It's way harder because you really gotta understand your values. As long as the shade is on point, it doesn't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if the face is green and you did blue, as long as the shade is correct and the blends are smooth, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Black and gray is unforgiving. Unforgiving. If you go too dark in the area, that's supposed to be light. You're f***ed. You know what I'm saying? So I love doing black and gray. I love doing color. I love handling them both. But with black and gray, it is quicker. Like it is, if you know it and you understand it, you can, boom, I can do a whole piece this big in eight hours wearing color, I can do a piece this big. You know what I'm saying? Like it's fun, it's no thinking. It's more or less like you just an artist, you know, just having fun, you know? I'm an artist who's black. You know what I'm saying? I hate the I hate the phrase black tattoo artist. I can't stand that. I'm just a tattoo artist who happen to be black and I'm proud to be black. But don't sit up here because when you hear black tattoo artists, you automatically stick us in a bubble. 
You know what I mean? Okay, well that's Pooch and this person. Don't do that because I can hang with the best of them. Like, don't put me in that genre. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I, I can't stand that. I get a lot of people lately who's been like handing me like, you don't tattoo black people. You don't do this. You don't do that. You don't do this. Like, it's not that. Like, I'm a color realism guy. Like, I love black and gray and I am doing it, but I'm a color realism guy. You want me to do a white guy on somebody as dark as me. Like, it's not gonna f work, dude. Like, I'm real. Like, yo, it's not gonna work, but you can get some amazing in black and gray. As I said earlier, you know what I'm saying? You have to educate and show people that, yo, even though you're darker skinned and you can't get color, you can get an amazing tattoo in black and gray. That just takes me as an artist to go, okay, well, he want this Kurt Cobain in color, right? He can't get the Kurt Cobain in color because I can't put a white guy on, on black skin. So let me find the Kurt Cobain that we're at. He's holding the microphone, the shadow of the light, the casting light, where it's more mid-tones and darks. That's my job as an artist. You know what I'm saying? To choose the right image and make it happen and, and not go on Google and get the same image that everybody else has. You know what I'm saying? It's my job to do my research and find the image like, okay, well, this Kurt Cobain is super fucking light. Let me not do that one that he wanted. I'm gonna find him a different one. But again, I will ask questions. Hey, you want this portrait for what? Oh, I'm a musician, this is what I love. When he played this song, that's what I love. So I will go online and find him singing that song, him playing the piano or something where I can find something that has a darker whole shadow in his face. Now it eliminated all those light tones. I can do this in black and gray and give him an amazing tattoo and something different, you know? So it comes to the artist to really do his education and explain to people like, hey, th if you want this, it can't work, but I can do this, 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 and it has to be in black and gray, you feel me? You know, I think people need to trust the artist to know that it's our job to give you a great tattoo, you know what I'm saying? Things you see on other people or see online or see on IG, is not necessarily gonna sit up here and fit you. You know, you don't have to get the same image everybody wants to get, you know?